Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, as you may notice, I have longer hair, which I've had for the last two videos. But today I'm gonna show you the whole process of what we did for my extensions and what we used for short hair to long hair that my stylist really recommended. Also, you may already know if you've been following me the last two videos, we are doing a giveaway to celebrate 100,000 subscribers on YouTube when we get there. We're going to be giving away an iPhone 12. What you have to do to enter is comment below on this video that you've subscribed and one comment per video until we hit that milestone. And thank you so much if you've already subscribed or if you're a new subscriber, I'm really happy to have you. So I've had short hair for almost three years and I'm really into the curtain bangs, but I didn't love them as much on me with short hair. I really like the style when I would see it on long hair. And I really love that billowy, soft 70s look right now. And I need to achieve that look, I needed longer hair. So I went for the extensions. And it's also to get me past that awkward stage. When my hair hits my shoulders, I just wanna cut it off again. So hopefully having this length will trick me into not cutting my hair again. <laughs> and yeah, I just like to have fun with it. I don't wanna be overly attached to my hair. And try new styles, life's too short. I just got the spoken wheel. I'm going to talk to Dell about what he thinks would be good for my hair. So let's see what he says. So thinking about switching it up, what do you think if I went a little longer? <laughs> He's for it. <laughs> I love it. So we were kind of texting about the other day, but I wanted to come in and make a final decision. I've had my hair short for so long. What I think it's think? time for change. Yeah, let's go. Time let's to go, switch up. Let's go a little longer. I mean, I can always cut my hair if I need to, but I can't grow it out as fast. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what are we gonna do? Okay, so we're gonna add some 18 inch extensions. Um, oh we're gonna deepen her hair so it looks nice and dark. And then just add some like fun layers and uh, make it really full. Yeah, so I want that volume. Yeah. My hair can get voluminous when it's not, this is flat ironed and it looks. Looks like I rushed it today, but usually it can hold the curl. So I'm excited to see if this can I think put the final look. Yeah, it's time for the change. Okay, let's do it. First, he's darkening my hair, covering my grays. <laughs> When's the last time I've been here? Probably. Is it month, right? Yeah. I feel like my hair grows pretty fast if it's not grown out for. Yeah. So we are starting the extension process. So why would you recommend keratin for my hair for the extensions? So keratin could be really good for your hair is because you don't have to get it moved up at quite as often. It's going to grow out really nicely with your um, hair type. And then you can also have lots of different hairstyles. So you're like not... Like I put it up in a ponytail? Mm -hmm. You can put it up, you can split it, you can do braids, so you're not worried about exposing yeah. anything. And when I had them about three years ago, I feel like I was always self-conscious of that because they would grow up, they would grow out, and I'd have to lift them so they would be touched again. Yeah. So this is cool. Yeah. And then what extensions would you say not to do for people? Like if they're looking to get extensions, it like what's a bad sign? Right. So it all depends on the person's hair type. So every extension is good for somebody, yeah. but not all extensions are good for everybody. Like what extensions would not be good for my hair? So I probably wouldn't do like wet extensions mm -hmm. in your hair because it's going to just sag yeah. for your hair. So your hair is really good for like individuals, tape it, something that is kind of on a smaller scale, not like a big wax. Yeah, that's if you have a little bit longer hair, you just want more thickness. Right. So here's the hair we're doing. It's really soft. Oh my god, is this giving you anxiety? There's so many of them. I know, it's gonna be a bit. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I can already feel the difference. I know, right? <laughs> so you look at I it. have a little side. Oh, nice. Right, yeah, and so it just kind of just grows with your hair. Yeah, okay, amazing. Yeah. <laughs> nice, right? So we got lots of little mini ones. <laughs> He's like, I will be here for a while. <laughs> Done. What do you guys think? It's very thin. 
Remember when you first met me, you said that I always played with my hair because it was so long? It's bringing back flashbacks. The jet black dye. <laughs> I had just box dyed my hair on our first date. It's still on your forehead. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually bringing me back a little, except this is a way better hair color than what I did myself. Build the volume. Can we just leave it that length? Yeah, just this on one side. <laughs> yeah, I like that. <laughs> So at this point, Dell has already colored my hair, he's put in the extensions, and typically Justine always cuts my hair, but I didn't want to walk out of the salon with two different lengths of hair before I could meet up with Justine. So I had Lindsay, who works at Spoken Wheel, cut my hair to blend it in and just make sure the short pieces were a little bit more thinned out so that way they didn't stand out in the extensions. hair without any well she just she blended it right now but we're trying to figure out the length and we we're talking about doing something a little bit more voluminous so I don't have to have my hair straight like this and really focus on that flat iron so what do you recommend I was recommending bringing up the length just a few inches so it'll help bring the layers together and create a little bit more volume. So right into here and then we can style with a really soft natural filling to get that volume. And it's not going to be over curled but also not peaky. So yeah. It's something pretty and I'm excited. A whole mini. <laughs> really? <laughs> I'm just trying to lift it. That was very uh, <laughs> eloquent. What do you guys think? I like it. A lot. <laughs> oh, <laughs> So, of course, me not being used to long hair. I wasn't sure if I did too long, but Del and Lindsay reminded me that we can always go shorter, but to add length, you'd have to redo the extension. So I trusted their advice and thought, okay, I'm not gonna cut it. I was thinking to cut it to here at first, but that's kind of pointless because I could just wait a month or two for my hair. So I listened to their advice and I kept it long. And I'm so glad I did because it's been so much fun to style it. I've been able to do more ponytails. It's actually a little bit less upkeep for me because with my short hair, I had to really make sure it was straight each day when I leave it down. And now the under here, I just kind of leave my pieces curly and I just do the outer edge. Even though that's the lazy version, you should probably make it all smooth under underneath. But this has worked for me. The layers on top has made it pretty textured and giving me that volume I'm looking for. My hair's kind of dirty right now, but it's even more voluminous when I first wash it. But I love that the pieces here are smooth already, so the blow dry time for me is very little. So overall, I'm super happy with it. Jaden thought it made me look less of a mom, which <laughs> said, wait, did I have mom hair this whole time? And she said no, but she really liked my hair and so did my parents, which I thought that was cute that they commented and said that they really liked how it looked. Anthony really likes it. Babe, what do you think? It looks great. <laughs> Are you gonna come in and give me a compliment? I'm fishing for one. <laughs> <laughs> gonna be out there all day. <laughs> <laughs> Can you please give me a compliment? I yeah, said that's what I said it looked great in the video. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for being here. I hope you enjoyed this almost midweek vlog. I thought I would have to vlog about big transformations in my life and more to come soon. This Thursday, we are having our updated home tour going live that is talking about all of our renovations, how we've been living, and a sneak peek into our design plans. I'm very excited for when everything is done and we're gonna share it all on Thursday's video. So make sure to subscribe and comment and tell me you're subscribed for a chance to enter the iPhone 12. I'll see you guys later.